Hi, everyone. Welcome to Synthesis Sunday. My name is Julie Dillon James Toa. We've been doing this for a while. This is the, I believe, the 16th. I think 16th. So this is Sunday. And we are still on Penguins 4. But this week, oh, wait, excuse me. Last week, I made a pad with this same synth, Penguins 4. That video is up here on the top right. Check that out. So this week, this Synthesis Sunday, I decided to make a, a synth wave bass. And I'm going to play for you a little excerpt. This will be an example of the finished sound that we're going to make today. It sounds something like this. It's a very simple sound, not a whole lot of modulation, some effects, and just some layered uh, oscillators and things. So let's get into it. And where did the thing go to? We'll get it out. We have an unmute that. I'll mute that one and open this one. All right. So I had the same pattern. But then this is the uh, default sound of Evans Wars. It's like this. This is all really long keys, but we gotta get rid of that. So that's one, two. And this one down here, the template default. So let's dive into what we're making here. So let's set up the engines. Engine one, you're leaving as a wavetable. And then we're using basic waveforms. And I believe the only thing I'm gonna do here is change the course, which is the pitch. I'm going to go to minus 24. Jeez, there it is. That is two octaves below the standard octave. So I'm going to change the wavetable position to about 0. 0.792. Just about. Point eight. Going too far. Just try that. Oh. And it is point seven nine two. So what that sounds like right now is this. Not the worst, but it sounds weird with a little extra on it. So let's go over to engine two. Right now it's on sample. We'll switch it to analog. Just right there. So analog mode, you get three oscillators that I like. It's kind of fun. Okay, so for the first one. I'm going to take the first stop minus 12. All right, and then we're going to change the thing it is. Well, I need to look at something real quick. It won't sound like my brain stopped memorizing. Oh, okay, we're all good. Just wanted to double check. Okay. So we're letting all these just sound waves. There's an oscillator one, I believe. Pulling the pitch down. This is all I wanted to do. Okay, so oscillator two. I'll turn the volume up. About negative five something. And five point seven.
close enough. I'm going to have a course the same. I'm going to change the five to just, just a little touch below the zero. Okay, so let's see. Let's wait. Okay, then oscillator three. I'm taking the volume all the way up to zero. Do the horse down to minus 12. And the five. I'm going to move up to like 0 0.1. 128, that works. So I'm going to have a little lesson here. And we're getting a little bit closer to what we want. Next step. Utility engine. I'm going to throw on this. And turn on the oscillator. And make it square. That would be cool. And then take the volume to minus 2.72. Uh, minus 2.5 should be okay. And uh, of course, I only have minus 12. I'm holding down to minus 24. Number two out is below zero. And then we're going to jump over here to the filter. Filter everything out. So we want LB24 multi mode, which we have. Oh, um, that's full. I'm kind of down to like 12. 1200 sounds about that. Perfect. That'll work. Okay, the residents, like 0.49 or something. Oh, we're getting too aggressive with it, but it's enough. Let's see. The volume, we're gonna bump up to like 0.5 something. That works. So now let's listen again. We had some effects. Now I did mess with the envelope. And it's, I mean, I could have, but once I got the result, I didn't really need to. Let's uh, add all the effects. And then reverb we want. We also want compressor. Just the regular, not the multi-band. All right, let's do the delay. Let's take the wetness up to 17%. Reverb, now I have changed it is the dry and wet to 15. Whoa. 15, and then as a compressor, we'll let the dry wet all the way up. Although we could do 50% to make it parallel, but that, let's not do that. Uh, threshold. We'll change 720. Oh, right there. Now let's have a listen to this. Ooh. That's cool. I like that. A little bit of uh, delay it has. So let's go through. Turn on the drums I set up. I just did sound like this. Ooh, synthwave fields. Is it the keys on? Oh, 
so that's pretty much it for Synth Wave Bass with Penguins 4. Okay, I'm going to keep chugging away with Penguins 4, so my credit is soon. I might do a couple synths of Sundays on some free synths. So everybody who makes that stuff. Because some of these scents are not cheap. And I'd like to be able to teach people how to do that. Maybe you can't afford it. So thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, share. Do the do. Hit me up on social media. On Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok. Hit me up. So I'll link in the description. Plus, now I have music available on Pond 5. So if you are a content creator, but now I have seven drafts on there. I'm going to check it out. That link is also in the description at the bottom. Oh, excuse me. To the bottom of the description of this video. Well, have fun there and check it out. Let me know what you think. And if you're a content creator that don't really like the ones I have posted, hit me up for custom ones. I'd be glad to work with you. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I will hit you on the next video. Much love and peace to you. Later.